Exactly 100 days ago, a raid siren sounded in this place in Ukraine's capital, Kiev, marking the beginning of a conflict and a turning point in the history of the world. 100 days ago, Ukraine's president addressed the nation the morning Russia started its military operation in Ukraine. Today, with the same spirit, he made another address. We have been defending Ukraine for 100 days, says Mr. Zelensky, but now 20% of Ukraine's land has been lost for the Russians. About 20% of our territory is under the control of the occupiers, nearly 125,000 kilometers square. This is much more than the territory of all the Benelux countries. Nearly 12 million Ukrainians became internally displaced. More than 5 million, mostly women and children, moved abroad. While Kiev seems to be calmer, the situation in the east of the country is totally different. As Russia tightened its grip on the area in the battle for control of Ukraine's eastern Donbass region, heavily damaged buildings and explosions are often heard in the distance there, a sign that the war hasn't reached an end in the east and probably will not, as Moscow vows it will continue fighting in Ukraine until all goals are achieved. One of the main goals of the operation is to protect people in the DNR and LNR. Measures have been taken to ensure their protection and certain results have been achieved. Russian troops continue their military operation in the east of Ukraine. If Russia fully captures Severodonetsk, it would hold all of Luhansk, one of two provinces with Donetsk claimed by the Russian-backed separatists.